Bell Cold Wire back here for another video and today I'm going to be doing a video reaction. Alright, so let me get this straight. About a month ago, you hit me up in my DMs. Hey man, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Well, I didn't see it because I don't stay on the internet all the time. I'm out here doing outdoor shit. So, I got your DM while you're trying to get a hold of me or whatever, finally. But by that time, I'd already had somebody hit me up with a Snapchat video of you talking shit about me at one of your shows, telling people, church is fake, church ain't humble, all church cares about is money, church don't care about his fans. I mean, I do, I mean, it's, it's pathetic. And it's not just me, you've done it too. You've just the redneck soldiers for no damn reason. You talk shit about other rappers while you're on stage and they're nowhere to be found and you know they're not there. Hell man, some of the people that you hire to come to your shows, you talk shit about and you fucking make fun of them. I'm not even gonna say his name because he probably don't wanna be involved in this video and I'm cool with that. Another thing I found out, Redneck Ray 5, somebody who was working for you hit me up and said your plan for Redneck Ray 5 was to fucking co-cock me when I wasn't looking for publicity. For publicity. You thought that you were going to get to hire me to come to your mud fest, and you really thought you were going to get the chance to co-cock me? Do you know the kind of people that show up to my fucking shows, brother? Motherfuckers that will rip you to shreds. And I guess you found that out, because I definitely didn't get punched by you on Redneck Ray 5, and I did I? No. Because you see the people who come out for me, real deal motherfucking rednecks, that ain't putting up with your shit. Do you think they're going to let... You jump me when I ain't looking? Are you fucking crazy? You know what's bullshit? What's bullshit is you hit me up and you asked me for a song back when the Redneck Rave anthem was made. I said, you know what? I'll give him a shot. Yeah, let's do it. Not only did I do this song with you, not even knowing you and risking my own career, but I, got, I invited you down to where I fucking live. And I did a music video with your ass. I promoted that song for your ass. I've been to plenty of your mud shows to get people there to give you more publicity. Yeah. And then what? And then I confront you about you talking shit about me at your show when I ain't there? Really? This is the fucking problem with country rap. There's people like you who get their head this fucking big. And you know, every rapper flexes. All rappers do it. If you ain't flexing, on what you like to do, then you don't really like to do it. NASCAR drivers flex, basketball players flex, football players. Every other football player wants to hit harder than the other football player. Every other NASCAR driver wants to drive faster than the other NASCAR driver. That's just how it works. But there's a difference in flexing your muscles and showing people your skill and legit trash talking, you know? I mean, it just, it doesn't make any sense. So you know what? I got a surprise for you. Hope you enjoy your three minutes and 12 seconds of fame, buddy. Career, 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 your career is affixing to go right down the drain. Oh, geez, I'm so scared. I think I just fake shit my pants. <coughs> oh, yeah. Church, 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 church. This dude's going in my career. Damn, son, that's comedy gold. Your voice sounds like you ate a cactus and you're 80 years old. I listened to your last song. The shit I was hearing just didn't translate to nothing. They see me shout, in the this dude sound like a microwave is starting to melt. My coffee pot could make a song and get more iTunes sales. And I remember when I met you and I rode in your truck. You said the fans we had looked at us like these gods or something. Like what? Like how fucking sociopath are you, bro? Like nobody looks at us as gods. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my motherfucking life. You need to set the fuck down somewhere. Ah. Um, this new album I've got, uh, Up Church the Redneck. You didn't give me for shit, you paid me good and you know it. So I can fix your shit track and make that shit mediocre. The only reason I did it was to be nice and do a favor. Now you're drunk as pissing shows, talking smack like a hater. When they really ain't shit. Ain't shit, won't be shit, you can't sit with me and my friends, bitch. You running around on these microphones with your fake ass Tennessee accent. I got more fans in your hometown than you'll probably get the next four 
years, you must be drunk trying to be for me. I just shotgun like four beers. And I'm still on the beat, so clean and crisp. Still hit the notes like Justin Bieber. Still go slim shady on the fucking track like a hockey mask and a meat cleaver. Funny thing is, I ain't mad either. I'm just having a damn good time. But the biggest song that you ever had was the one old church man featured on. And I mean, it's doing decent numbers, sitting on a cute little 2.9. Nothing compared to my rolling style. I got them songs that'll get you high. But you're gonna need a really tall ladder to even get up on to my level, bro. You trying to catch up to me is like a fat guy on a treadmill. Bruh, huffing and puffing like you the big bad wolf. More like a fucking shit zoo owned by a chick with one tooth. Yeah, you stay raising your voice, but I stay raising the bar. You like church, can you lower it? I can't reach that far. And I ain't never diss nobody, you're the victim this first. Go catch that Google, check your God and buy your next album, I heard. Your talent level's lower than the fucking crust of the earth. So stop at Lowe's and buy a shovel for your projects before. You can also buy a mop, yeah, a bucket for sure. Next year I'll give you a job, mop in my studio. But I'm gonna have to start you out at like 550 an hour. You gotta prove to me that you actually do have some sort of work ethic. After this Momo ass crack of his, he'll probably make a status. I swear to God, man, I'm gonna kick up church's ass. Son, I could touch you if I wanted. I'm worth too much cash. You wanna settle some faggot? Get your ass on the track. But chances are that I'm too busy. Yeah, I'm a grown ass man. I got bills, a fucking company, sold out shows for my fans. And if this this was two years old, I'd tell you, pull up your pants. Cause you were such a gangster, right? That's what YouTube says yeah you don't woke up the bull and my horns are looking too sharp you messing with the legend don't get going fed to the sharks yeah you might live in the stick but only live in a park i mean nutrition from the trees if you didn't catch that part bruh they couldn't fuck with me if they wanted to they couldn't fuck with me if they wanted to they couldn't fuck with me or come feel my boots they couldn't fuck with me or come feel my boots bitch now, man, I told you, leave me the fuck alone. I don't bother nobody, and you didn't listen. Now, do you have anything to say for yourself? Damn, you were right. There you go, buddy. There's a shout-out you've been wanting. Oh, yeah, and this one's free, because I didn't even say your name not one fucking time. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, because I know I sure did, because didn't, not only did he talk about Hozier, but he dissed him in a song, and that was the first song that he's ever dissed somebody with. I'm pretty impressed. Up Church, nice job, and you probably put Hozier in his place. Nice job, bro. We love you. We respect you. And keep on doing what you're doing. Peace, brother.